This year, we're celebrating the 120th anniversary of the Pan American Exposition. And today, we'd like to show off one of our largest artifacts, the Little House. This is one of the few structures to, to, to survive the temporary fairgrounds. Located inside the West Amherst Gate and adjacent to the service building, the ex exact function of the building was only recently discovered by researcher Susan Eck. While it may have had many functions, it was at one point used to sell elongated coins as souvenirs. At the end of the Pan Am, Jacob and Louisa Kissinger purchased the little building and moved it to their home in Gardenville, where it remained until the Werner family donated it to the museum in August of 2000. The house had to be researched, fumigated, and dismantled to be moved to the museum. It took months of architectural evaluations, paint stripping, carpentry, window glazing, roofing, and repainting for the little building to be restored. Its current color scheme is derived from samples of the original paint and most of the features and structural supports are original to the building. Any missing pieces were patterned after originals and replaced with historically accurate materials, such as the mission style tiles on the roof. The museum is thrilled to count this rare gem among its collection. Here we have a collection of aluminum artifacts of Pan Am souvenirs. The piece in the middle is an aluminum inkwell in the form of a crab where the shell is hinged to form a lid. The body of the crab would have held a glass inkwell and the front claws are hinged to be able to hold a pen. Prior to 1886, aluminum was as valuable as silver, but a manufacturing process was developed that made wide-scale production of aluminum objects more economical. By the early 1900s, Aluminum became a feasible material for more common items, such as souvenirs like these. If you would like to see more artifacts from the Pan Am, you should check out our online database. When you visit buffalohistory.pastperfectonline.com, you can view more than 400 artifacts from the 1901 exposition. And while you're there, you can see thousands of other artifacts that showcase a wide range of Buffalo and Erie County's history.